Hello guys, welcome to your ninth Roblox Lewis scripting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over regular functions and anonymous functions. Um, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in so long. It's been around a month, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to upload a video uh, fairly soon after this one. So, um, let's begin. Uh, insert a part into workspace, insert a script into that workspace, and uh, we're going to start off with a regular function. So, to do a regular function, you're going to type function, and the next word you're going to put is going to be the name of the function. So, if you put dog, the function's name is going to be dog. I'm just going to do test, and then you're going to have to put parentheses for um, the arguments. You can do anything inside a function, like you could do print, or, yeah, print, hi, or you can do instances. And just things like that. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to keep print high there. And you're going to have to end the function. And so let's press play. The output does nothing because for a function to work, you're going to have to call it. And I had a hard time understanding what calling it meant. What it means is you're going to have to type the name of the function. So basically whatever is after the word function. So test. So we're going to have to type test down here. With also parentheses. But if you do lower cap lowercase t up for test, you're going to have to do it down here because it is a uh, capital capitalized sensitive so I'm just going to be capitalized but um that's uh, a regular uh, function and I'm going to also do something different with this so scripts parent is part uh, script dot parent dot touched and then semicolon connect Function or I'm sorry, connect test. So uh, test. And what this is saying is, whenever this part gets touched, it's going to connect to test, which will print high. Maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah, I gotta of course put another break to make it touch it. Now, here we go. And you can see I print high. I print high several times because the, this act, this brick right here actually touched it more than once. Doesn't look like it, but it did. So, um, yeah, that's basically a regular function. And I'm going to kind of explain this a little better. So whenever a uh, script's parent gets touched, it's going to connect to test. And test is this function function's name. And what this function does is it prints high. So basically what this all is saying is whenever this part gets touched, it's going to connect to test and that's going to print high. So whenever the part gets touched, it, it's going to print high. And as you can see, it does. Um, the touched is a, uh, is a event so um yeah now we're going to move on to a anonymous function which i think is easier there is some times where you have to use a regular function instead of anonymous but i've only ran into that once so um anonymous function i'm, I'm going to show you this real quick right here this is called the connection line so uh this basically connects connects it to the uh, function so you'll understand that later but the script dot parent we're going to type the connection line parent dot touch connect and right here where it right here is where it gets different so you're going to have to put open parentheses function and then uh, you don't have to name the function an anonymous function so you can just put two more parentheses and then I always like to automatically put an end right there 
and you're going to have to do a closing parenthesis. The reason why you have to do a closing parenthesis is right here, there is no closing if you don't put this. And if you think this is a closing, that's not. Well, it is a closing, but it's a closing for this. So this one needs a closing, and it's going to be right there. So this is basically just like a uh, regular function, but it's much easier. So print. All right, let's do LOL, I guess. And it prints LOL. I think this is much easier than having to do if it can hold its memory. All of this, I just think it's easier and uh, better. I would, uh, I would recommend getting into the practice of just do, using a anonymous function. Um, but yeah, that's um, the functions, or anonymous function, a regular function, anyways. And uh, my game, I'm uh, testing dynamic lighting. I put maybe, oh, it's in lighting. I've been building some weird things. But it uh, all involves dynamic lighting, like my really bad car has lights on it, and so does my really bad plane. Dia dynamic lighting is a new feature to Roblox, and I really think it's cool. Um, so yeah, if you guys want, you can make, or you can uh, do a suggestion in the comments below on a game that I uh, should make, because I'm really in need of a game that I want to make that'd be good and uh, if it can Im involve guns and vehicles that'd be great but um, I think this is around the end of this tutorial I'm gonna do another tutorial like right after this video I don't know about what I'll think about it but uh, that's it guys bye